All right, guys, so let's take a look at his lineup, huh? And in case you guys don't realize, um, I actually ended up having to play somebody else because the person who won the Pink Slips game earlier, the play-in game, was unable to play. So uh, we are moving on to another person. I think that's Ghost Steve Young, I believe. I think that's Ghost Thurman Thomas as well. So this could be a ghastly team. He's got a pretty decent lineup here, though. He has a lot of the same linemen that I do, of course. Deke in there. He's got a solid team. Really, he really does have a solid team. I love that he's got DRC as his number one corner, by the way, when he's got 99 Sherman here at number two. <laughs> uh, Brandon Browner at safety. That's an interesting idea. I've never seen anybody doing that, but that is a that's a good idea. He's six foot four. He is an absolute giant. And Tashawn Gibson, of course, at strong safety. That's a card that I used for quite some time. So let's get into the game. Um, but it's it's over a million in coins. So um, very, very good giveaway, I think. If he can beat me here, he's going to win a million. And he didn't even have to play in a playing game. All he had to do was answer a trivia question. Yeah, we're not going to return that. I know better than to return in this game. All that it ever ends up being is just some BS where you fumble. So we're not going to do that. He's moving his defense all around right now. Calvin. Oh, I just about broke that with that spin move. That would have been nasty. Of course. Oh, good play by him there. So he keeps moving his uh, his safety into position, which means that, of course, I'm going to have a tough time um, running out of this formation because he's basically sprinting his safety into position every single time. Um, but that is also going to leave him vulnerable when he uh when he doesn't do that good play i almost threw a pick right there first down here after the completion here we go there it is look at donald penn just beasting oh baby touchdown barry that was all donald penn though let's be completely honest here that is the best card in the game screw barry donald penn's where it's at but anyways first play on defense Let's go, baby. He's trying to buck sweep me. He's trying to buck sweep me, though. I ain't having it, Pimpy. Hit him. Oh, come on. We injured him, but that isn't really going to be that helpful, I don't think. Got to get my wife in one of these face cams. Um, she's like nine months pregnant, so she doesn't want to be on camera right now. She's actually, she's barely gained any weight, to be completely honest with you, but she still thinks she looks like a whale for whatever reason. Oh! Sean Taylor, baby! He gained six, but he paid for it. <laughs> oh, he ran it right up the middle. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, it's so rare for people to actually run up the middle in this game that I hardly ever even, like, I, I hardly ever even look for it. So coming out of the first quarter, and we are up 7 nothing, but he is driving on this one, and I'm um, definitely having a problem stopping his offense. He's running it very, very effectively right now. He's loving that read option. That is not working that time, though. Charles Woodson is unquestionably the best run-stopping cornerback. Well, maybe other than, like, Night Train Lane. But other than that, he is just by far the best. Please pick this. Okay, of course. Of course that would happen. I'm right there for it. And, of course, my guy just doesn't even get a hand on it. He just allows the completion 30 yards down the field with great coverage. Okay. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Good play. Good play. I mean, after that, that deep pass, I couldn't really do anything. And uh, he's going to tie it up there on that nice play. He's got LT over there, though. Uh-oh. Oh, Barry. Barry, you're too dirty. You're too dirty, Barry. But if you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long run. Those blocks. There you go. To the right side. See ya. Barry, run. Run hard, Barry. Run hard, Barry. Touchdown. Another touchdown for Barry. 
First and ten. He ran it right up the middle again, and of course, his guys are just getting that to that second level so fast, it's crazy. We're going to have to start changing up our defense a little bit here. I've I've never really had much of a problem stopping the run, uh, especially up the middle, but right now, his guys are just killing me. This is a big game. This is definitely the biggest pink slips that we've done. Oh, wow, I left that guy wide open. That was not good coverage by me. That one was all me. What's up, Spoder King? Damn, it is hard to uh, it's hard to be reading comments because this guy's making audibles and stuff. So please forgive me if I'm not reading your comments when um, when he's making when he's on offense. All right, so he gained big plays here on the ground a lot so far in this game, and I really need to start focusing on stopping the run. Um, we're gonna start to drop more guys down here, I think. He's got a minute and 11 left. I think he's trying to milk the clock a little bit in this one. Wow. He's just... There it is. Oh, come on. Sean Taylor, of course, forces a fumble and we can't recover it. He is definitely in field goal range now, so I'm really just kind of trying to stop him from getting a touchdown at this point. Um, I do have to kick to him, I think, to start the second half, so that's not very good. Hit him. Oh, my gosh. I am playing so bad right now. Come on, guys. Oh. Of course. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Didn't my guy get his hands on this? I'm going to have to watch the replay on this. All right. Well, we are back on offense, but my opponent is... Uh, he is absolutely killing me right now with, with his offense. And I don't really know what to do to stop it. But we're going to gain big yardage here on our first run on the drive. So that is going to put us closer to field goal position potentially. All right, guys, 18 seconds left in the first half. Oh, it looked like he might have committed there on the run. That might not be a good idea. Come on, baby, run. Damn it. All right, so we've got no more timeouts left, so it is time to kick a field goal here. All right, five seconds left in the half, so yeah, I am just going to kick this field goal. All right, so we go up 17 to 14 into the half, but I do have to kick off now um, defensively, playing absolutely horribly. I know he's thrown a couple of passes that were pretty close to getting picked off, so I just need to stay strong on defense and um, you know keep forcing him to make those throws into coverage. And as long as that he keeps having the throw into coverage, eventually he's going to make a mistake. Oh! Let's go, baby. Oh, I almost recovered that. We've got to drop more guys into coverage right now. Second and, or third and 23. He's running hurry up after that. That is just ridiculous. And of course, he's going to convert. Of course. I am the worst ever on long situations. I'm the worst ever. Third and 23. There was I, I knew that I was going to give that up. I don't know. I'm better at third and three than I am at third and 23 for some reason. I'm just the worst. And I'm sure he's going to go for this. I don't blame him at all. Oh, I thought we were going to stop him there, but we didn't quite. Ugh, I just cannot stop his offense right now. God, come on, guys. There it is. And another fumble recovery. Um, I don't know what more to say. Damn, man. He is just, he is just grinding and grinding and grinding, and I can't do anything about it. Look at him. He's just running clock, too. Well, come on now. Thank you. It's about damn time we pick up a fumble. It is about damn time. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I definitely need to make sure that I don't make a mistake here. Cannot afford it. So let's go, guys. Newton in shotgun formation. Trouble now. 
Booyah. Let's go, Barry. Massive gain by Barry. That is a huge, huge first down. I knew that he was going to have to either choose to go after me as a runner or to go after Barry, and he de decided to go after me uh, with my quarterback, and that pretty much allowed me to get that big gain. That is a huge play out of that formation because, as you guys can see, it looks uh, when you when you run those type of formations, they look a lot like buck sweep. And when you're effective running buck sweep, then the opposing team thinks that you're going to run it, and then you just pass it over the top on them. All right, second and seven. Oh gosh, I need to not be so dangerous with the ball. All right, it's third and seven, so again, I am just going to try and run one more time. Pick up those blocks. Oh, Finneran is just freaking awful at blocking. Oh yeah, he is doing a great job against me, for sure. Uh, especially with the only uh, the low overall that he is. He is playing really, really well. Um, offensively, I mean, he was just running straight up the middle, straight up the middle, straight up the middle, and I couldn't do a damn thing about it. Let's do this. Of course he runs. Force another fumble. I don't know what he's doing running right now, but do what you got to do, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. There's 30 seconds left in the game, and he's running the ball. But Oh, my gosh. His guys are so glitchy. His guys are so glitchy. They jump in the way of making... Uh, I mean, my guys are right there in the coverage, and his guys just jump perfectly to make the play. you got to be kidding me. All right, this should be probably the final play of the game, so I'm gonna, just going to drop back into coverage here. Make sure that he doesn't beat me deep. And that is going to do it. We do hit him and force an incompletion. And that is probably one of the toughest pink slip games that I've played. He played so much better than his team. Um, his guys just were making amazing catches. That is crazy. But in the end, though, I was able to come out with the win. I'm pretty happy about that. So what's going to happen is that I am going to keep all of these cards and then we are going to give them away this weekend. So after I lose my next game, which I'm going to in, in my tournament, I'm I'm seriously like 99% sure I'm going to lose that game. I'm not even like trying to be self-deprecating. I'm very, very certain that I'm going to lose that game. So once that happens, I will give away the cards this weekend. And I do appreciate that he came in and uh, kind of bailed me out when my real opponent couldn't play. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. If you're going to go away now and watch a different game, um, thanks again for tuning in. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.